watching me down. You don't find me the car? You don't find the gun? This runs deep. You're getting in way over your head here. I and my organization have nothing to hide. You give me what you get on Jimmy, and I'll turn a blind eye to whatever vigilante sideshow you're running here. You're not all you pretend to be, are you, Jack? If you think justice and vengeance is gonna help, then you are misguided and you are lost. Let's let's talk about Rogue, uh, because it does debut April 3rd, and if you had to give me a like a 30-second synopsis about what Rogue is, a couple lines, what is Rogue to you? Rogue's about uh, Tandy Newton's character, Grace, whose son tragically dies, and she decides to go undercover, uh, but Rogue, not with the police force, to find the truth and to discover her son's killer, and through that, she gets mixed up with a crime syndicate in Oakland called the Laszlo's, which is my family. And, hi Liam. Hey, Liam. <laughs> yeah, you might hear Liam. Yeah. He's here doing and, that. Um, <laughs> and she gets, she gets caught up with us, and it's sort of, you, you watch what happens when she's unraveling, when she's trying to find the truth and the consequences of that. And there's a lot of uh, other things I wish I could tell you about. <laughs> you have to watch and find out. Leah, tell us a little about what, what Rogue is to you. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it centers around Tani's character, a mother who's lost, and, and her grief and her questions and her angst surrounding that. And she embarks on a mission to seek the truth and seek answers. And she's sort of envelops herself into this darker place in, in this crime family and her morals become clouded and her intentions become muddied and her reality shifts along that journey. And um, the thing that I love so much about this show is just the divine writing. Matthew Parkville, our show creator, is brilliant. From the pilot episode that I read before my first audition, I was floored. Um, and I feel that this show really, it really delivers. It, it creates a, a great setup and for, the, for Grace's journey, and it really delivers. There are, uh, you know, so many people know uh, some of the, the crime, family, uh, syndicate type shows. I mean, obviously we're familiar with Sopranos, things like that, but that was many years ago. And one thing about Rogue that I really, really like is the rawness, the grittiness. You really feel the intensity of these families, the, 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 you know, the pressure that Grace is under, the things that she's dealing with. You guys are getting a, little, a lot more freedom uh, because of you know, the audience network and the feeling. Does that contribute, you think, to the success of the show or the feeling, the way you guys can present it to the audience? Absolutely. Um, for sure. I mean, like you said, I mean, crime syndicate shows don't come around a lot. And you know, when you look at The Sopranos and The Goodfellas and Scarface and all that kind of stuff, these classics, or even nowadays with Boardwalk Empire, but these are more, you know, these are nostalgia shows, and so these are things that didn't used to happen. These are things that used to happen, and so your our view on them is different. You talk about people with Tommy guns, or people back in the day digging each other up in, in in the backyard or whatever. And so we're dealing with a very current topic and dealing with it and seeing how what crime syndicates are actually doing in America nowadays and how they're really making their money and how the business works and what they're doing to kind of keep their family alive. And Direct TV gave us an incredible amount of support and just unparalleled. Uh, freedom to do whatever we needed to do to tell that story as best we could and when we were filming it all of the actors felt completely loose and we didn't have any inhibition towards what we were trying to achieve and the writers had the same thing so it was it was pretty amazing what Direct T have done and they're breaking a lot of new ground and it's very cutting edge. It's very cutting edge even the storyline you know dealing with uh, the family and, and even the business because typically in the past we've seen all oh, the you know, heroin dealers and things like that there's even modern twists to the and I'm not going to reveal it here because I want people to tune in and see this but even even those storylines are just it's a very modern approach. Very in the now. Yes. Very in the now. Yeah it's cool because I think that the show takes some sort of classic themes you know the goodies, the baddies, the cops, the you know bad guys, and and it's very current, very in the now, and the show really explores a lot of just pertinent topics that are based in humanity that all of us experience, and so it was a joy to bring that to these characters that some of them are quite archetypally based, and yet uh, it's raw, it's 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 heartfelt. You know, and I think that you feel that when you watch the show. Let me uh, ask you guys, okay, so this is great. Liam, <laughs> his first, we got to get him on this side yet. Because this is going to go viral, the fact that, we had, that, by the way, Josh and, and Leah wanted to meet Liam today. All right. Oh, we're up there. Yeah, okay, so you guys, you guys are, are married on the show, and now you have a dog. <laughs> and you're not taking mine. Uh, I would love a dog in the next. You actually, uh, you asked us earlier what, if there's anything we wanted to see in the new series. I'd like our character to get it. Oh. Do you want to come on, Liam, why don't you come on, Rogue? 
Yep, he wants yeah, me. That's hilarious. Oh, hello. oh so gorgeous. You guys play uh, a couple, uh, Alec and Kathy, that are married. Talk a little bit about the chemistry and what that took. I mean, you guys just met. This is your first time working together. You guys just met. You're All of a sudden, you're married on the show. Let's talk a little bit about that chemistry and relationship. Yeah. I mean, I think when you're playing husband and wife, you have to, kind of, you have to go very deep. Um, and you have to find a lot of truth and honesty and backstory there. So you've got to do your... You've got to do your homework and your research, and you've kind of got to give credence to what's happened before. So, uh, I mean, the casting is a big part of that, and we were really lucky when we both walked into the room that first day, and we, we got each other, and we were both willing to, you know, really open the doors and be honest and be trusting of each other. And mm -hmm. we, you know, you go on a journey with it, and you have to explore a lot, and you just uh, the more the more open you are, the easier it is, and I think the better the better we are at telling that story together. You know? Yeah, to me, I mean, I went through a drawn out process for Kathy, the audition process, and when I walked into my chemistry read with Josh, that was when Kathy was defined to me, was when reading, you know, what was scripted and what was wonderful on page, reading it live with Josh, it was, it, it became live to me. So, um, so this character to me is defined by her relationship with her husband. And the escalation of this is going to be bad for business. You get out there and fight her. Yeah. You went off the reservation. I'm pulling you out. I say we need fire with fire. I will handle this! I should have seen it glow. But everybody knows that a broken heart is blind. That a broken heart is blind.